Okay. Um, so Psalm 1 from verse 1 to 3, I'll read um, NIV version. Right. So blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does, does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Amen. Amen. So, this all what all this all the scriptures are going to open here can be expanded on even more deeply. But I'm just trying to show you what the benefit of this word of God we are reading is. He said they are like trees planted along the river bank. That is, they do not ever lack water. Never do they lack refreshing. And these trees bear fruits each season. Their leaves never wither. And they prosper in what? all oh, they do you see the prosperity or the prospering you're looking for in every aspect of your life is in the world but you need to delight in it and you need to meditate on it day and night that's what it is so you ask people in kingdom people they tell you if you want to prosper you need to take in the world take in you think and when they say you sound this part come again they've come again but that's that's it's it's the principle what equips you, what prospers you, what strengthens you, even in this kingdom, is the word of God. See, I've given you the keys to the kingdom. It's in his word. A lot of times we find ourselves looking for wisdoms, looking for ideas, looking for... Let me use the word prosperity and progress and advancement. Every other place, apart from the word. We feel like the Bible might be a thing of, you know, something a religious exercise. Now nah, I don't do my, I've done, I'm done with my normal work. And now let me just seek God in the night too. So I'll just read, you know, a few verses. And if I sleep, I sleep. I understand that we are busy, but the truth is that until until and unless you begin to prioritize something, it, it can never be a priority. <laughs> Things do not automatically just become a priority in your life. It's a lie. Check it. We get we 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 actually are legit, legitimately busy, but when it comes to every matter that has to do with money three gain, we all of a sudden become free. It means that we're able to push our calendars, adjust our schedules, you know, anything possible, squeezing things, keep late nights just because it has monetary gain. But let me tell you the truth. The real prosperity you are looking for, it's not this, this it's, you can't find it outside the word of God. I'm telling you the truth. You can't. And scripture says the blessing of the Lord that make it prosper and added no sorrow. So it's not the one that adds sorrow, it's not that one of suffer and stress and strive and you know compromise. The real prosperity you are looking for, the kingdom prosperity, prosperity ordained for your season and for your life is in the Bible. Is in the word. Um, Psalms 19 and from verse 7. If we can just run through it. Then I'll do I'll do the Joshua and then I think we'll, we'll stop there. Anyone that's available to read, please. Engineer Dr. Christian. No, but I do. You are very, no, you my leader will not let people hear you. If you can help us, if you have your Bible there, please. Read what? Psalms 19 and verse 7 to 11. Okay. Can anyone help me? But, um... 7 to 11, right? Yes. The law of the Lord is perfect. Okay. Converting to true. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Simple. Okay, I shall continue. Continue, continue. The status of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, delighting the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, 
ensuring, ensuring forever the judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired than, than, than gold. Yeah. That much what? Uh -huh. Than fine gold. Thank you. Sweeter also than only the honey. Only okay. gold. There's a lot to Verse 11. Moreover, by them, by them is thy servant warned and in keeping of them. There there's is great reward. Great reward. You see, there's great reward. You see, the psalmist, and when you check all these psalms, I think it's the psalm of David from Mommy Kingdoms. Yes. So if you if you are aware of David, um, scripture begins to tell us how much David gave for the building of the temple. I think Baba was trying to calculate it, and if I'm not misquoting, it's, it's in billions. In fact, it was upon the prosperity that David established and the peace that David established that let me use the word the peace. But it was prosperity also because he is in that gathered the things for the temple and gave because God refused for him to build it. Um, was was what Solomon built upon that scripture began to say in Solomon's time, silver was not a precious stone. It means that silver became so common that it was not no, it was no longer a precious stone. That's what it was. So that's how much they prospered. And when people cry this, come and tell you that it's better than gold, sweeter than more is it's better than gold, it's better than much pure gold, you know, it's sweeter than honey, even the honey. At the honey's comb, you know, when they never, they, when they've not removed the honey from the honeycomb, that's how much, how sweet it is. And in keeping them, there's, there's your servant is greatly blessed, and there's much reward. It means that there's there's an equipping that the word does to a man's life that a lot of people might miss out on because they do not have the understanding. This scripture that we read, it's not it's not just a book. Oh, don't let anybody deceive you. It has transformed my life. It has transformed the lives of thousands and millions of people. And it keeps on transforming lives. So what we do here is not a religious activity. It's not. In fact, much more than what we do here, what you need to be doing in your secret place or in your house or in your home must transcend the daily marking of the scripture to actually knowing the word. And as you know, it's becoming the word. And then we'll read the, um, Joshua 1 and verse 8, if anybody can help us. JP, uh, okay, this book please, of uh, the Lord. This book you of want the to quote it from your, my, your heart, Abby? <laughs> shall not depart out of thy mouth. Okay. And thou shalt meditate during and day night. Day and night, Abby? Yes. Okay. That thou yeah. observe to do according oh, to all that is written. Okay. For then thou shalt have great success. not great success. Prosper, and even that even thou shalt have good success. Okay, good, not great, good success. Mm -hmm. You see, um, I think I, I've I've written a couple of my books, and I began to explain. Even with scripture, the advantages of reading the Bible. Scripture talks about how it makes the simple wise. It provides wisdom. It provides... I'm trying to open, if I can find it in this book. It provides clarity. provides success. There are so many advantages. If you have time, read them. Um, observe Psalm 19 and Psalm 119. You have not if you have time, please. You have time, go and read it. You see the amount of advantage it, it that that reading the Bible can give him, man. And that's what we are doing here. So we'll just complete um Romans, sorry, first second Corinthians and chapter 13 now, and then we'll call it a day. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope that I've been able to convince you and not confuse you on the motion that reading the Bible, studying the word, fellowshipping with Jesus is one of the most, is the biggest thing a man can do with his life. Not one of, it's the best thing a man can do with his life.